Welcome to this Zombicide Black Plague painting tutorial. In this video, we'll be painting the hero, Nelly the Barmaid, from the Black Plague core box set, using the official Warpaint Zombicide Black Plague paint set from the Army Painter, as well as sprays, brushes, and other Zombicide war paints. First, let's have a look at the product we used in this tutorial. We used the miniature file set, the color primer Desert Yellow, and of course the Black Plague paint set. We also used the Zombie Core set and the two expansions Toxic Prison set and the Survivor paint set. We used the Most Wanted Brush set and we finished off with Aegis Suit Satin Varnish for protection. The miniatures in the Zombicide set are of excellent quality and detail. However, you still need to remove the mold lines using the files from the miniature file set. There's three different shapes of files, making it easy to find the right file for the job. Afterwards, it's essential to wash the miniatures in hot soapy water to remove any residue of release agent used in the casting process. If you don't, you might find your paint struggling to stick to the models when you're painting later on. Looking at the artwork, Nelly is dressed in a yellow-brown dress. We decided to prime Nelly using Color Primer Desert Yellow, meaning that most of the model was instantly base coated, saving precious painting time. Color primers are unique sprays, a combination of primer and color in one, and need to be used differently from other hobby sprays. Start off by shaking the can for at least one and a half minutes to really mix the heavy pigment inside. We stuck the miniature to some cardboard while spraying for control and also to stop the model from falling over. The coverage of color primers is second to none. The sprays come loaded with heavy pigment and you must spray from a distance of 20 centimeters or preferably even closer. Notice how we start the spray action to the side of the model and move the spray across. No short bursts directly on the miniature. Finish off by turning the spray upside down and empty the nozzle until only gas comes out. Here we have Nelly the barmaid and the other heroes, sprayed with different color primers. Move the miniature from the board and the model is ready for painting. We used the most wanted brush set and we also used all the zombie side paints from our range. I'm going to start off with the skin tone on Nelly the Barmaid. For that, I'll use a Survivor Skin from the Survivor paint set. And for that, I'm using the big Richman brush. It's a good trick to use the Richman brush for all your base coating, as it speeds up your painting no end. The next area, I'm going to be using Brain Matter Beige. And that's for the Barmaid shirt and the classic apron. And you might want to give this two thin coats to really get an even coverage. Brain Matter Beige is a nice off-white color that comes in the basic zombie corset. Also from the zombie corset is the next color, Crusted Soul. Normally used for painting old crusted blood spatter, we're going to use it to paint Nelly's vest and also the sandals. And for that, I'm using the Insane Detail brush, as this is a fairly small area on the model. Next, we are on to painting Nelly's hair. This will be painted with the orange prison jumpsuit from the Toxic Prison paint set. And as you can see, I'm back with my Richmond brush again. As with all war paints, it's important to give each pot of paint a good shake before you use it to really mix up the heavy pigment inside. Next step is the metal and for that we're going to use the claymore blade from the black plate painter. Again with the Richman brush I'm applying an even base coat all over the sword and handle. At this stage what you really want to focus on is just getting paint all over the area without adding too much Try to get a smooth, even layer and leave it at that. And the final bit of the base coat stage is a bit of a detail work. I'm using the zombie skin, again from the coal paint set, 
and the insane detail. There's a few leather straps on Nelly's vest that needs to be painted. And that concludes the base coat step. The next stage is to shade the model. And for that, we're gonna use the deep shader from the Black Plague paint set. A shader is basically a thin down ink wash designed to add shading as it flows into the deepest crevices of the model. I'm using my big regimen brush that holds a good amount of paint. Notice how I'm on the apron trying to leave less shader on the model. Since I want the apron almost white at the end, I don't want the shading to be too deep in the area. Try to use enough shader to let the ink wash do its magic. With the shaders completely dry, it's time for the first highlight. The first highlight, I'm using the same colors as in the base coat stage. So here, survivor skin from the survivor paint set. And then now it's time to be a little bit more careful. So I'm using the insane detail brush. The aim is to leave a bit of the shader showing in the deep, deepest recesses, like in the eye sockets and between the fingers. Next stage is the loincloth. And for that, I'm using the brain matter beige from the zombie corset. Again, the same color as in the base coat stage. I'm using the Richmond brush, as this is a fairly large area. I'm thinning the brain matter beige just a tiny bit to improve the flow. Since this coat of brain matter beige is the final highlight on the apron, I'm spending a bit more time and I'm actually giving it two coats to get really good coverage. The next area I'm gonna highlight is the ropes. And the ropes were sprayed with the Desert Yellow spray. And for that, you have a matching wall paint, also called Desert Yellow. But since in this tutorial, we're only gonna use wall paint from the Zombicide sets, I'm gonna mix it. Start off with one drop of Leather Brown, and then give it two drops of the Bony Spikes from the Toxic Prison paint set. Now, the double bottles makes it really easy to get a precise amount of paint out. So this is one drop leather brown and two drop bony spikes. Mix it together with your regimen brush. And there we have it. A very close match to the desert yellow. Just to demonstrate, I'm taking the desert yellow out here. A very close match. And using my mix, it's time to highlight the ropes. I give the whole area a good coat, leaving only the deep shader showing in the deepest crevices. I continue and highlight the vest and the sandals using the crusted saw, the same as the base coat color. And after that, we onto the hair. After that, we use the prison jumpsuit from the Toxic Prison set. And I'm taking out the small dry brush and putting some orange paint on it. The trick with the dry brush is to leave only a little paint on the brush. So when you draw it across the model, you get only the highlight color on the very raised areas, here on the hair. And the final color in the first highlight is the Claymore blade for the big sword. Notice how I'm using the edge of the brush to get fine lines across the sword. Claymore blade will also be the final stage of this, so I'm giving it a good coat. A 
And now we move on to the second and final highlight. On the ropes, I'm using the zombie skin from the zombie corset. And here the trick is to keep the highlight thin and only on the very edges of the model. Remember that a gaming piece like this is generally seen from the distance of about a foot or more. I'm still using the regiment's brush, even though it's big, it's got a fine point, and the robes of Nelly is a fairly big area of the model, so to speed up the process, I'm using the regiment brush. The vest and shoes is getting a second highlight of Abomination Gore from the Black Plague paint set. This was over the crusted saw base coat. I'm using the insane detail brush as this is a small area and also I want to keep the highlights thin and very precise. The hair is getting a second highlight, mixing prison jumpsuit with zombie skin. And it's fairly easy, as we've seen before, to just take out a few drops using the dropper bottles, and give the paint a good mix, and then start painting. I'm using the Insane Detail brush, as I just want to give each strand of hair on the head a very, very thin highlight. The aim of the second highlight is to exaggerate the lighting. You just want a very small area to be brighter than the rest. And that will create that 3D effect. And for the skin tone, well, we'll repeat the thing. This time we are mixing Survivor skin and Brain Matter beige. We want a lighter coat of the base coat color and uh, I'm giving Nelly a very, very thin highlight on the very raised areas. This is the tip of the nose, on her noggles, and on the very, very raised areas. And since the apron and blade is already done, that completes the highlight. Now it's time to do the base. I start off with painting the whole base filthy suit, color from the zombie corset. Uh, for that, I'm using the regimen brush. Then I take out the small dry brush and with some necromancer cloak, I dab on areas to sort of simulate dirt and grime. Try not to have too much paint on the brush as it's easier to sort of give it an extra coat until you get the desired effect. Another option could have been to flock the base with flock from the battlefield range, but we've decided to go for a simple base. With the necromancer cloak all done, it's time to add a bit of blood. We're using the crusted saw from the zombie corset. Paint on some areas and try to thin the edge to sort of simulate that the blood is sort of seeped out on, on the floor. And with that, Nelly the Barmaid is done. Well, almost. As with all the models in these tutorials, Nelly is based for gaming, so you need to protect it. And for that, we recommend you use a suit Satin Varnish. It's a good, strong varnish. Spray from a distance of about 30 centimeters, which is longer than what you do with the color primer. Give it a few thin coats, leave to dry, and you're done. Don't forget to empty the nozzle, just like you did with the color primer. That's it. Nelly the Barmaid, from start to finish, all done. Make sure you check out our other tutorial videos on the other survivors, on the zombies, on the necromancer, and of course, the abomination. Enhance your gaming and play with painted miniatures. Thanks for watching.